Welcome to The Daily Chew, sponsored by Southeast Steel and Tico People's Gas. Today our guest is Kathleen Blake of the wonderful Rusty Spoon Restaurant in downtown Orlando. And Kathleen, what are you going to make for us today? Thanks, Scott. I'm going to make a quail al matatone, or under the brick, okay. with a simple beet puree, roasted beets with a little sherry vinegar, extra virgin olive oil. Well, Very sounds good. simple. Good. Let's get Let's, to it. Okay. We're going to get our pan nice and hot, mm -hmm. uh, so we get a good hard sear. I love uh, working with gas because we can control the temperature yeah. and we don't get any flare-ups, and it's easier. I chose quail. It's easy to cook. When it's boned out, you can get these locally. And we're going to put that in our hot pan. We're going to weight it. You can use another heavy saute pan. You can use a brick if you actually have a brick at home. Um, but I'm going to put a little bit of parchment on here so that the pan doesn't stick. Okay. It's nice, good sizzle. I'm going to add a little fresh thyme in here while it's roasting. And then here's our next pan. A good hard sear on one side. Then we'll flip the uh, quail over. Okay. And then this can go right into the oven. I roasted a few golden beets, and this is just for color. So these were roasted the same way as the red beets that we're using as well. We'll glaze our beets, get nice caramelized, and then this will go on our final plate. Okay. We use a blender at the restaurant. We uh, puree the beets with sherry vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, uh, and Greek yogurt, which helps mm. to oh, smooth yeah. it out. Nice and glazed. It looks really fancy for your guest. And I just did salt, pepper, and a little extra virgin olive oil, and voila. You can find this recipe online at icflorida.com. Thank you, Kathleen Blake. Thank you. If you want to taste what it really tastes like, go down to the Rusty Spoon. Thank you very much for joining us at The Daily Chew. I'm Scott Joseph.